Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a revisit of NVIDIA's DSR that I did a previous test on. That test I did at 4K downsampling to 1080p. Now I'm going to do something a little more reasonable. Let's do one where we meet in the middle. And by meeting in the middle, I'm going to be shooting for a 2880 by 1620, which is about halfway between 1080p and 4K. So I'm back with the test bench that we had in the previous video. It's the Gigabyte 990 FXA. Dash UD3 with an 8 core AMD processor on it, and on the bench here we've got the GTX 980 Strix. If you want to see the previous video, I'll put a link to it right here so you can check out my first attempt uh, at DSR, which didn't go over so well. Um, so, without adding a second 980, I figured why don't we try scaling back the resolution a bit. So, anyway, let's get into some benchmarking and we'll see the results. So starting off here with Metro Last Light, you can see there's a dramatic improvement uh, going from, first of all, 1080p to 4K like we talked about before. But we see a decent sweet spot there at that uh, 2880 by 1620. So that's definitely, it's almost scaling perfectly um, between the different resolutions there. So now we are taking a look at Shadow of Mordor, and just like Metro Last Light, we can definitely see how it's scaling here between the different resolutions. So not much of a surprise, honestly, but uh, definitely just con uh, confirming my initial thoughts. So here we are ending with Tomb Raider 2013 and yet again we can see very similar results in scaling as we increase the resolution. So to conclude uh, my testing here, I would definitely say there still is a noticeable difference when you increase the resolution there on DSR. Um, 4K obviously didn't work out so well, but uh, that magical number right in there, that 2880 by 1620, that seems to uh, net some really nice results without completely destroying the frame rate. You can see it does take a bit of a hit, however, um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, worth the increase in detail in my opinion. And at that point it's, uh, it's just kind of like anti-aliasing and, and all of the other deals turning up. So uh, it's just, just a different way to go about it where I can totally see this thing really kicking ass is definitely going to be like on a easier to run game jumping it all the way up to 4k and then letting everything else get hashed out when it down samples so anyway I just wanted to do a quick touch up uh, for everybody on my last video there was a comment or two about uh, not going all the way to 4k so I wanted to satisfy that um, anyway, if you like the video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give me the thumbs down. And in the comment section below, let me know what you think about this, uh, about this halfway to 4K type thing. And as always, thank you for watching.